What's going on, guys? It's Mr. Vell here. Vell. Mr. Vell. Leave a comment. Watch the video to the end. Links in the description. Uh, Patreon in the description. Correct Ledger Nano S link in the description. Okay. And uh, Fury XRP Ledger video game link in the description. A lot of stuff happening with that. Um, Watch to the end. You're going to want to watch this. Leave a comment. Let's get into it. So I'm going to share with you this interview with the World Economic Forum. Right. And this is coming from the head of uh, blockchain technology and digital currencies, the head of blockchain technology and digital currencies at the World Economic Forum. <coughs> OK. This was their interview while they was at uh, what's it called um, at Davos. OK. OK. So now. Here we go. Watch to the end. The chief executive officer of Binance, the world's biggest crypto exchange, said in talk at Davos that the industry now needs to focus on the evolution and promise of blockchain technology itself. OK. The World Economic Forum's head of blockchain and digital assets, right? Brindley shared similar views. Of course they did. Especially around blockchain applications in sustainability efforts and the environment, okay? In an interview at Davos, right? This is what the head of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology said. Okay, so I'm going to be the interview guy. And then the other person that answers is going to be the head of digital currencies and blockchain at the World Economic Forum. Okay, so I'm the interview guy and we're going to start it now. All right. What do you think the trending issues are and what's on the top of the mind for people post Davos, okay? I would say through line, through line has been about case studies, real world case studies. Enough of the technical theory, although that's interesting, it is time to really showcase the real use cases that we see today, okay? I thought one of the biggest takeaways was interoperability. There are different ecosystems and yet we're all participating in a global digital economy. So when it comes to migrating from the old world to the new world, in other words, from the old system to the new system, ISO 2022, if that interop new ISO 2022, new global payment standard, I don't know how many goddamn times people have to hear the word new to get it through their goddamn head, okay? If that interoperability doesn't exist, exist, is liquidity going to be tracked in the old system? Liquidity, keyword. Yes, I think that's exactly right. That's what the head of digital currency said at the World Economic Forum. They ask the question, if that interoperability does not exist, is liquidity going to be trapped in the old system, in the old ecosystem? And the head of digital currencies and blockchain at the World Economic Forum responded with, yes, I think that's exactly right. This is where the work comes this is where the work comes in and why the forum is so useful because we bring together these different voices to come up with interoperability to come up with that to come up with that interoperability solution What happened in the Ripple commercial? Ripple Ripple, Ripple's CBDC, 
Since you banged digital currency, solution. Now you're hearing it from the head of digital currencies and blockchain at the World Economic Forum. Okay? So, here we go. Here we go, here we go, go. It is about what the blockchain can enable. This is the head of the World Economic Forum, the head of digital currencies at the World Economic Forum. It is about what the blockchain can enable, what is possible. And I still see a lot of enthusiasm around there. This goes back to the work that we're doing at the forum related to crypto impact. So we're working with entrepreneurs around the world and in the United States. Right now, we're focused on the United States. We're going to expand it. We see a number of use cases and a number of developers that continue to be energized and continue working on these projects. And you'll still see money coming into them. Okay. As now this is the this is me the interview the interviewer and what the interview person is saying to the um head of the uh World Economic Forum uh uh digital currency and blockchain head of the World Economic Forum. As new participants <coughs> enter this space, enter this space, how do you ensure a move to the digital economy that embraces more than the few? One, do we all need to be correlated together? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, some of the benefit of a decentralized system is that you get a lot of different viewpoints and a lot of diversity in what is being developed. So I think there is something to be said for keeping that diversity. We shouldn't all be at one single file line. The other is, how will we get there? I think we follow the path of the user. I think when people realize that using these products makes a difference in their lives and they start using them and we see where the adoption is, that's where we go. That's where we go. Where is 2023 headed for you as, as the lead of these global conversions? She was asking the head of uh, uh, digital currencies and blockchain at the World Economic Forum, the head of it. I see some really interesting work in the area of, listen to this part, sustainability and environment, carbon neutral economy. We've already been focused on that, but I've made connections this week that make me even more excited about that, okay? Food security, I think, is very much related. Some really interesting ideas come out, come out of that and proof of concepts and many people that are interested in trying out some really interesting business cases, business cases. What the ripples say, crypto means what? Business. So I think this is going to be a year of real action, development, study, and research. This is going to be a year of real action and development. That was from the head of the world, the, the head of uh, digital currencies and blockchain at the World Economic Forum. Well, if you were smart enough, you watched this video to the end. Thanks for watching. Peace out.